All right, let's do a little bit of math. Um, this is not going to be exact, but this is going to get, give you a, a kind of a, a ballpark, right? So we know that the AC path is basically uh, this is ground. And so there's a resistance here, we'll call R little, little RE, the emitter resistance, and then we have this collector resistance is 1.8. So we have 1800 divided by the RE. Just rules of thumb, 26, uh, 26 ohms is sometimes 25 ohms, 20, 26 ohms at about a milliamp kind of thing. Anyway, it's around, it's around this number, okay? And so what gain would that give us, okay? 1800 divided by 26 would give us uh, 69, okay? Uh, would, this is a gain. Okay, so the gain would be 69. It's this resistor divided by this resistor because because of this uh, capacitor, we now have an AC ground here. If it was a DC system and you didn't have this, then it would be this resistor divided by this res resistor um, plus that resistor actually. But since it's so small, it's no normally just that divided by that. But we have an AC ground here because of this uh, capacitor. So it's it's this little resistor and that big resistor there, about 69. So let's take a look at our circuit, see what we get. All right, I have it set up, so I'm measuring peak-to-peak uh, -peak voltages here. So the output is about 1.6 volts, and the input is about 21 millivolts. All right, so uh, those are the numbers there. So if we divide those two numbers, we get 1.68 and 21 millivolts is 80, okay? So we're getting a gain of about 80 and uh, we're calculating 69. If we had used 50, 20, 25 ohms here, 1800 divided by 25, we'd get 72, okay? 72 if we used uh, 20 if we use 25, right? So we're sort of, sort of in the ballpark, right? So that would sort of explain, that would sort of explain this case. Now, what about the other case? What about uh, this case, okay? How do you calculate the gain in this case? Um, well, <laughs> it's sort of the same and sort of different, okay? So remember, um, we have this emitter follower type of thing in here. Well, you could actually think of this as a, a common base amplifier, okay? So you have this common emitter amplifier followed by a common base amplifier, okay? Now, the common base amplifier, remember the current gain, uh, so it's usually said A, A current gain equals one, okay? Or the gain, gain, gain current, current gain is one, okay? And so whatever current wiggle you have here is exactly the same current wiggle you have here, right? Now, um, it also has a very low input impedance and everything, and it basically negates this part of the circuit. So really, the gain, when you calculate it for a cascode amplifier, the gain is caused by this transistor. If it's not there, it's caused by that transistor. If it is there, it's caused by that transistor. And this, this transistor really doesn't do a lot with respect of gain, okay? So the gain of this one is going to be the same as calculating the gain of a common base amplifier. The gain of a com com common, can't talk today. The gain of a common base amplifier, again, is its resistor resistance, it's a, a emitter resistance, and this and this uh, common, uh, okay, so how do you calculate the gain of a common base amplifier? Well, I'll point to the video down below, I did a common base amplifier, but it's this emitter resistance divided by this uh, collector uh, resistor here, and again, it's once again, it's 1800 divided by 25, okay? Uh, which was what, 72? So somewhere around 72? All right, so you, you, you calculate it 
with the same numbers, strangely enough, but it's from an entirely different point of view. You're, it, this is now a common base amplifier. So let's go back up to our circuit. Okay, this is our uh, common, not common, our uh, ca cascode amplifier. So our cascode amplifier is measuring uh, 1.68 volts. And uh, the input's reading a little bit different, 22.8. 22.8, okay. Uh, let's see here, okay. So we have 1.68 divided by 0 0.022 is, 1800 divided by, oops, sorry. 1.68 divided by 0.022 is 76. So the gain here is 76. So there you go. Um, yeah, these things are weird. Uh, they're not what you, what you think they are. Um, it is a common emitter uh, followed by a common base. A common base amplifier uh, uses these two to do the calculation. Um, and yeah, it's much more complicated than this, but uh, that is the easy way to take a look at what's going on give you a ballpark. Um, there is more fancy math if you want to go look it up in a book. That's what I encourage everybody to do. Go read a book. So, yep, there you go.